Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to demonstrate something really awesome. And it's not these figs only. I know for some of you figs are awesome. But guys, when you're in a, um, a more of a tropical, subtropical um, vein, these get old real quick. But the taste never is never forgotten, right? It's like your first kiss. That's how good figs are. But there's something better. What could be better than a fig? Huh? Well, let's go and have a look. And by the way, this is a typical harvest. Day, a daily harvest from um, Fruitopia in autumn. Uh, that is of figs. So we've got two different varieties here. The brown turkey and the unspecified green one. That's like um, jam on the inside. Beautiful. So, what could it be? What could the surprise be? I didn't know if I should use um, a word to label the, the title of the video. You know, name it, name the fruit, or surprise. But I'm not, I'm not a clickbait type guy, right? This is called real life. Real life doesn't go with clickbait, does it? It's either real or it's fake, right? So guys, this is the surp surprise today. You're looking at it right there. It's the Rolinia. You won't believe what I saw this morning. So within one hour of seeing it, I had to film it, especially after I made that um, bad news video on the orange tree. Remember the orange tree video? Where I had to uh, discard of over 100 oranges because of fruit fly. Well, that's the bad news. This is the good news. It's not all bad, guys. It's a mix, right? One day you get the ice cream bean tree that falls, and the next day, well, what surprise could could it be? Well, you know what I'm what I'm going to show you. Um, I was really, really surprised. Every couple of days I come in here and look for fruit. And by the way. I tried to um, hand pollinate this and I didn't have any luck with finding um, a female, a female flower at the right time when the male was open. So in other words, you've got to collect the male um, pollen and then come back the next day to find a female and I didn't do that. I prefer to find them at the same time. If they're not there at the same time, forget about it. I'm, a I'm out. I'm not going to play around like that. So, we got a self-pollinated Rolinia. Yeah, Rolinia, you heard right. And here it is, guys. Let me find it. <laughs> Let me find it, because it's hiding. It's not that one. Although that could possibly be one to come. A possible fruitlet. That's a possibility, I'm not sure. So I'm not counting on that because these come every day. But what we are counting on, guys, is the real deal. Got to find it. Hang on, let me let me um, let me pause the. Oh, no, I found it. I was going to pause, but nope, I found it. Yeah, I'm trying to build up the excitement. For the first Verlinia fruit in Melbourne, Australia. Oh, and now I lost it. Oh man, don't do this to me. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. And it's in the sun. Oh yeah, we want it in the sun. Don't we now? Don't we, guys? There it is. For real. A real life Verlinia fruitlet self-pollinated at Fruitopia now I got ants crawling on my arms thankfully they're not green ants like in Queensland they're those friendly black house ants um, now we need this to hang on so step one let me get rid of this ant step one um, hang on buddy don't fall off and step two um, don't let the cold <laughs> don't let the cold 
distress you like it distresses me yeah so there it is the real McCoy let me put my finger next to it so you can see the relation in terms of size hang on there I'll give you my nail even better there's my fingernail there you go it's half my nail mm -hmm. all right but I haven't looked for another one as soon as I saw that I ran to get the camera I didn't look for another one other than the first one I showed you which might fall off so there might be another one hiding somewhere but they're hard to see everything is green oh and you need really good eyes and I don't have good eyes I used to I used to have the best eyes in the world when I was a teenager and once I hit 30 30 years old I don't know what happened everything got blurry guys all right so that's it I don't see any other but yeah that's the good 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 news Relinia, if you don't know hang on where, where was it did I lose it already but it, where'd you go he's a good hider it's good that he's hiding uh, Relinia, by the way is a Brazilian custard apple it's a yellow colored custard apple yellow skinned and it tastes like lemon meringue pie research it google it it's from Brazil of course oi 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 and um, there's still a lot of flowers here right the season's not over um, and it's got many other names too right yeah let's hope this other one hangs on too this little one that guy there 50 50 50 50 and I didn't po hand pollinate that's the coolest part of it I know that Ben in Sydney he made a video uh, just over a month ago and he hand pollinated and I think he got quite a few um, success stories well done Ben what's this well wow, wow, look at this there's new flowers coming in March look there's new flowers coming it's gonna flower in March what the heck dude uh, it thinks it's in Queensland <laughs> no dude you don't flower now you don't flower you don't start flowering in March it's getting cold in about a month March is fine but April is not fine right March is like I'll show you what March is like hi from the Melbourne tropics it's still tropical March is like summer but April is not like summer April is the in-between shift from summer to winter yeah, next month a month from now um, things are gonna change here so that's the good news guys good news I wish all of you who are growing Rulinia I uh, had the same success by the way you're gonna ask me how old is the tree the tree is coming into its fifth year I've had it for four years so 2024 is year five right I think I got it around 20 either 2019 or 2020 I don't remember one of the two so it's coming up to five years old and it's only 1.4 uh, meters almost 1.5 meters tall that fence there see that fence that's two meters so it's probably 1.5 meters in height right so not much for five years and I've been protecting it every uh, winter with a frost cloth around not on top I've never covered the top in winter but you pay the price for that all the leaves at the top turn to um, brown but it comes back in in spring so that's it that's the great news guys I'm glad to share it with you if you're here in the um, the cooler climate of Australia New South Wales South Australia Victoria ACT and Tasmania the rest of you guys uh, in the north well it's just yawn <laughs> yawn and scratch yawn and scratch your butt right yeah well it's a big deal for us down here in the southern states guys huge deal 
and just for the record I've planted a second Relinia here right as a backup in the ground that one there it's only been in the ground for like uh, four months maybe five months right that one there so always have a backup just in case for whatever reason it got burnt by the hot sun at the end of summer because the ice cream bean tree was no longer protecting it oh well but it's getting new leaves right see these new leaves it'll come good once it um, cools down so back up back up back up of tropicals in a cooler climate I'll make a update on all the anonas in the video soon this is the 12 year old cherry moya that's loaded with fruitlets about a dozen maybe more maybe 20 it's hard to see them guys especially with my eyes as I keep repeating I wouldn't be surprised if there's 20 this is when they come in February and early March so thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video please give me a like and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't especially if you're from um, the cooler south southern states of Australia or from uh, California or northern uh, Florida where it's uh, marginal so that you can watch the progress of our tropical and subtropical fruit trees here on this channel thanks guys wow so excited right this is the Fuerte Avocado which is uh, pretty much loaded we're gonna do an avocado video too coming up lots coming up in in March the first month of autumn or fall as they say see you guys